Hello everybody, my name is Howard Anderson. I'm a science teacher here at lovely South Park Middle School. As a project, the fifth graders had to choose an endangered animal and do a little speech or talk about it. Somehow, my name keeps coming up. Somehow I eat all the Oreos. Somehow I have a problem with my beautiful hairline, which is awesome. Somebody even made fun that I have a lovable, huggable belly. But just remember to all the fifth graders, I'm in control of the grade book. That's right, notice I said fifth graders, not sixth graders. So if anyone wanted to make fun of my hairline or how much I love double stuffed Oreos, revenge is mine. But before we do that, I'm here with my good buddy. Travis Ryan. And we're gonna hear we're here to discuss his animal, which happens to be the Red Wolf. So we're gonna do it together. Travis, my buddy, start us off. They are best known to mate for life for their lives. They unwillingly mate with coyotes. That's exactly well. that's exactly right. Sometimes uh, a coyote, a red wolf and a coyote will mate and uh, have an offspring. That is not a species because it cannot reproduce itself. Red wolves are not very much selective about their habitat. That's exactly right. Red wolves can very well adapt to any habitat. They can live in the cities, in the mountains, wherever they feel comfortable, they can make it. They're very adaptable, whatever the environment is. They have a few predators like bears and humans. That's exactly right. When they're smaller, uh, one of the animals that can hunt them are black bears, especially in the mountains of North Carolina, and of course humans. But once they get about full grown, there is nothing, there, there's no predators they have to worry about in the woods. They hunt alone or in small groups because they are shy and secretive. A group contains about five to eight members. That's exactly right. We call when they, we have a pack of uh, wolves, we call that a pack of member or a pack of wolves will hunt together and they are very social together. They make sure everybody stays safe and they help re raise the baby pups up until full size uh, adulthood. Red wolves to this day live in the Northern Carolina. That's exactly right. If you go down to the mountains down in uh, Western North Carolina around Asheville, you will hear red wolves at night. There's a mountain called, actually called Mount Mitchell that you can go up the top at night and you can hear the uh, the uh, red wolves howl all night long is actually a, a beautiful thing to hear. I've been there a couple times. Take advantage of it. Red wolves generally mate in late winter. Say that one more time. Gen red wolves generally mate in late winter. All right, that means they'll have their pups in the spring somewhere around April to May. Females have a generous state period of about 60 to 62 days and a female can give birth to two and eight pups at once. That's exactly right. Sometimes the females will be pregnant, if you will, for about 60 to 65 days and sometimes they'll have a litter between two to eight pups. Well, hey, we got to get going. I'm glad everyone can pay attention. Don't forget, payback is coming. Hey, I'm here with my good friend. Travis Ryan. Hey, everybody, thank you for listening. Travis, let's count them out. Let's wave on three. Ready? One. One, two, five.